So here we are in Microsoft Flight Simulator and we are going to attempt to uh, dock the Intergalactic Explorer to the uh, space station over here. We're currently on board the uh, Intergalactic Explorer. So uh, first thing, a few important uh, options to set up. Um, we need to make sure that our skill level is advanced to really make it as realistic as possible and that our precision is set to the highest which is 8. This will allow for uh, uh, a much better docking experience and much more accurate one. Um, from there on um, we are going to uh, change our point of reference from the Earth to the space station. In this case, this is the ring station one. So, our data now um, is relative to the ring station. We are going to switch to distance because this is what we're going to be using mostly. Um, our control has to be should be on rotation. And what we're going to do now is we're going to yaw the intergalactic explorer to uh, towards the uh, station but first we're gonna go into chase mode by pressing S um, and we will go ahead and yaw using the 4 key until we have a yaw of 0 which would make us pointing directly at the station here we're almost there. Okay, close enough. All right, and uh, we should probably adjust our pitch um, a little bit to be about minus 10 or so. Oops, wrong way. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, fire our engines uh, to bring us to about a radial speed of 10 meters per second. So we'll go ahead and fire the engine. Okay. About close enough. And we're pointed directly at the station right now and you can see our distance going down. So we're going to go ahead and accelerate time a little bit here. To get it a little closer, faster. Okay, we'll slow down here. So our goal is to be around 416 meters um, from the station, uh, which is basically going to put us uh, very close to that uh, center porthole where we're going to dock. So we'll let it go for a little bit and get there. Maybe accelerate a little faster here. there okay So we're going to press F4 to stop all motion. We kind of overshot a little bit, that's okay. And now we can kind of look up and we see that we are very close here. This is our uh, ship uh, docking port. And here that uh, orange uh, port that's rotating, that's the port for the station. So we can see that we are a little bit uh, further ahead of it. 
Okay, so at this point in time, what we want to do is before we do anything else, is uh, rotate the uh, the ship because the porthole, the docking port, is on the bottom of the ship, and so we need to rotate it um, so that it faces up. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, use our roll. Okay, to rotate us um, to a pitch of plus 80. So here goes. I'm going to switch to fixed mode so we can see it better. So we're looking at about 80 degrees of pitch. Okay, close enough. Let me bring back my time scale to one second per second here. All right, so where are we now? So if we look up again, so we're still where we were, except that now if we look at the other direction we can see that the porthole is now on top so now that we are in position what we need to do is we need to basically uh, line up that docking port with the that orange one on top so we're gonna start by moving the ship a little bit up so we can have a better view of um, uh, both the station and the galactic explorer so we're gonna go ahead and uh, fire the thrusters we're gonna fire the top thrusters remember we are inverted here so the top thrusters actually push us up towards the ring station and we'll monitor our distance here we'll probably stop around uh, 300 meters or so here Move towards the lateral view so we can see better slowly but surely we can accelerate time a tiny bit here important to get uh, a good view of both the station and the ship so that um, we are able to align properly otherwise it'd be very difficult to align on a visual basis okay so getting pretty close here We'll stop here, bring back our time dilation. Okay, so let's see where we stand as far as direction here. So we are a little bit behind, so we're going to move a little forward here, the port. So we'll move the ship forward a little bit. that we can align a little better with the docking port. There we are, looks pretty good here. Maybe actually overshot a little bit, I'm gonna go back, reverse a little bit. view a little bit 
and see where we are from side view. Uh, first off, it looks like we're a little bit rotated, so So we're going to go ahead and fire the lateral thrusters to move the ship sideways in order to try to line up. Actually, I have to remember that Trying to align the docking port on the ship with the docking port on the station. Okay, we cancel all velocity. Let's look back again and see where we are from the. Okay, so we're probably a little forward, so we're going to move back a little bit here. Reverse thrusters. to bring it more into a centered position. Okay, looks good over here. So we'll go back to the front here and see how we look. I think we have a pretty good uh, alignment here. Alright, so all we have to do at this point is essentially just go up and dock. I'm going to adjust the, the pitch a little bit. Okay. And here we go. So we're going to go to about one meter per second. Straight up. Which is a good docking speed. That's basically it. We have successfully docked with the space station. Congratulations.